In this video, I wanna talk about divisibility rules. Some of the most common ones that I use, and I especially use these when I'm simplifying fractions. There's other cases, but that is a very common time that I use divisibility rules. Now we're talking about whole numbers, or technically integers, positive or negative whole numbers. And every single whole number, every single integer is divisible by one. If your number's even, it's divisible by two. And that means your number ends in a zero, two, four, six, or eight that ones digit. Now divisibility by three, maybe you didn't know this one. Take whatever your number is, add up each individual digit, and if that sum is divisible by three, then the entire number is divisible by three. Take 324, for example. Three plus two plus four is nine. Nine is divisible by three, so 324 is divisible by three. Now, let me jump to the rule for six, because the rule for six is this. If the number is even, that means it's divisible by two, and if the number is divisible by three, then the number is also divisible by six. 324 again. 324, that is an even number. It ends in four, so it's divisible by two. And we just said a moment ago that it's divisible by three. That makes it divisible by six. But take 423, for example. Four plus two plus three, that's still nine. Nine's divisible by three, so 423 is divisible by three. But since it's not even, it's not divisible by two, which means it's not divisible by six. Now let's talk about the divisibility rule for four. All you have to do is look at your last two digits, the tens digit and the ones digit. If that two digit number is divisible by four, then the entire number is divisible by four. And the reason why, four, eight, 12, 16, 20, and if we go all the way up to 100, it repeats. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, it repeats. It's all about those last two digits. I don't care what comes before that. If those last two digits, the tens digit and the ones digit, if that number there is divisible by four, the entire number is divisible by four. Now for five and 10, maybe you know these rules, divisibility by five, if the ones digit is a zero or a five, it's divisible by five. That means the number ends in a zero or a five. Now for the divisibility rule for 10, if that last digit, that ones digit is a zero, the entire number is divisible by 10. And then the rule for nine, it's like three, where you add up each individual digit, but that sum has to be divisible by nine. And if it is, the number's divisible by nine. Take 972, for example. Nine plus seven plus two is 18. 18 is divisible by nine, so 972 is divisible by nine. Now there's two that I'm leaving off here, the rule for seven and eight. There are rules for those, but I hardly ever use them, pretty much never. But all the other ones that I have mentioned here, I do use those quite often, especially when I'm simplifying fractions. 